Taylor acted in a movie right here in Arizona. Poker Alice was filmed in Tucson. Yeah, but tonight, a discouraging development for actors wanting to follow in her footsteps. Ritabe Shibazi explains the crippling effect one politician could have on an entire industry in just a matter of days. They come because of the location. We're a hop, skip, and a jump to California. We have 340 plus days of sunshine. There are a million reasons the film and commercial industry has made Arizona a destination since the 20s. But for the thousands of people here whose livelihoods depend on it, there's something even more important. If someone wants to shoot a film, the first question they do is, you know, say, you guys have tax credit. We used to. Over the five years it existed, it brought in $193 million just to Phoenix. But it expired at the end of last year, taking jobs and cash with it. Everything kind of came to a screaming halt. We all suffered. Key grip Sean Fickard actually followed Hollywood to the south to find steady work, leaving his family here in Arizona. I have to sacrifice so much just to give them a great life. Industry insiders say the shoots here boosted the economy by pouring dollars into hotel rooms, restaurants, stores, rental cars, and the list goes on. Now they say Arizona can't compete with the states that still have incentives. And I know we could do stuff here. I, I just know it. I mean, uh, I've, I've seen it before. Um, and I've seen, I've seen what the other states are doing. A bill offering a 20% incentive made it through the Senate to the House, but Representative Jack Harper refused a reading of it. Now there are two days left to get a similar bill passed through another committee. If not, these guys say it will mean more business for New Mexico, Louisiana, and Georgia, and even less for Arizona. In Mesa, Rudabe Shabazi, ABC 15 News. We try